All right, good morning. My name is LJ Gilead, founder and president of Lightning Production Services. Today, I'm going to talk about the value of EMI scanning using LPS's proprietary scanning technology that has been commercialized now for over two years with LPS continuous sucker rods. I am a co-founder of this technology with two patents pending with the USPTO. The technology does not require any power other than 4 to 20 milliamp to power the sensors, creates a magnetic field without the use of 110-120 volt AC power supply, and uses contact sensors and controls the speed, producing accurate, repeatable results time and time again. Challenges with traditional scan scanning methods, imprecise visual inspect inspection methods result in premature failures due to running bad rod back and hold, and results are varied based on speed, contact versus contactless sensors, and largely due to operator interpretation of signals and calibration methods. In the screenshot here, you can see the transverse marks and cracks that are easily missed during a visual inspection. On the right is displaying deviation that can cause rod wear and fatigue. In this case, the orange lines are using a gyro overlaid with MWD, the blue lines. Here we have a case study from the Delaware Basin from initial conversion to rod pump, this well presented problems. It only ran approximately 100 days after initial install when it was pulled for a shallow rod part. At the time, the operator replaced 900 feet of the one inch continuous rod on bottom instead of sinker bars. In June of 2020, the rod parted again, approximately 390 feet. You'll see on the scan on the bottom left, there was some bends in the rod string that looked to be from compression and the top one inch taper was in pretty bad shape. The operator decided to replace the one inch section. Also at the time of these scans, the downhole card appeared to be solid, making this well even more challenging. In September of 2020, the rod string was pulled and scanned again due to a parted pull tube connected to the pump. We scanned the rod string and as you will see, we saw more fatigue throughout the rod string, mainly in the top one inch taper. We decided to alter the design, adding one and an eighth inch rod up top due to the fatigue seen in the top one inch section and 100 foot of line tubing. In February of 2021, unfortunately, the well failed again after the changes due to a parted rod, parted pull tube. But when scanned the rod string, we were able to rerun the rod string back in as is. Adjustments allowed this string to run for two more years before it was pulled for a pump change, considered a success. With LPS proprietary EMI scanning te technology, we use magnetic flaw and magnetic flux density methods using revolutionary patented magnetic technology that de detects pitting, corrosion, transverse and longitudinal flaws, as well as cross-sectional loss, rod wear, and fatigue. No power requirements to power the magnetic ring, making it safe to run at or near the wellhead. No delay to work over operations, setup and breakdown. In most cases, cold rod we rig up in less than five minutes. Clamp on chassis allows the unit to be deployed without having to string the rod through the device, providing safe and efficient operations. Predictive failure analysis, analysis having multiple scans on the same rod over time allows the operator to monitor rod wear and identify corrosion over time. Detailed engineering design analysis, having multiple scans over time has proven to be a useful tool in redesigning the rod string, resulting in longer run times as presented in the previous case study here. Contributes to ESG credits, enabling the operator to reuse rod versus buying new rod. I want to thank you for your time. We look forward to working with you on your future projects.